Dog, I'm in a dilemma, like, I've been feeling this way for the past few months, past nine months to be exact, so since last time we got a chapter. And the fact that now we have an announcement that the series is coming back, I still don't know how to feel. Because I feel like Mira is about to troll us, and Mira is about to tell us, you know what, let's go back to Griffith, and let's go another couple years here in Falconia. Because yeah, I remember uh, back in like, what was it, 2012, 2011... 2013, I mean, we straight we stayed straight in Falcone, and I was cool with it, because Griffith, Griffith's my favorite character in the series. But where we are right now with Casca, dog, like, bro, how how can I not want Casca? How can I not want to see? Dude, chapter 355 was literally one of the best chapters of the year. Of the year! I mean, the series! In the series! Legitimate man tears! We're coming out, man. I mean, the entire series has been building up for this moment, and then, and it's like I don't know what to do, bro. Like, like legit, I don't, I don't, because half of me is like, yeah, Griffith, man, that's my boy. He's with the apostles. I mean, you see, just straight up in him like somewhere they're back in Falconia. You see that they're following and they're going in. You see that the plan is going down. They're back home and they're, they're they have made the triumphant return. Back to their land. And it's like, bruh, I don't know. <laughs> it's like, it, it's two halves of me. It's like my bias towards Griffith is like, I want to see more Griffith. But just the longtime reader of this series, the man that, whenever I first started writing, reading the series, I was a teen, bro. I was a teenager, dog. Like, man, dude. This was my second manga after One Piece. I just felt that, that like, Seriously, man. And then, oh god, like it's like I know why he did it as a as a as a storyteller. I understand why it is, how and how it is, and why it well, why it all had to happen the way that it happened, and why he decided to cut something else after that because, in order to tell a story in dual perspectives, you have to leave everyone just wanting that, that that other perspective so bad that whenever you skip away from it you you're like flagnards like it just pisses you off because you're like man i wanted to see more of that but i guarantee you this griffith side is going to end off on a pretty big cliffhanger too whenever we finally go back to guts and cost because that's just the way that that you tell a story when in uh in dual perspectives like this but man dude i need it like i i've been dying for berserk to come back i really have like, I feel like it's been way too long, but it does, I don't even care. <laughs> I don't even care, man. Like, every single time I, try, I talk to somebody else that's caught up to Berserk, and, um, and we just, like, talk about it. And, like, the more that I talk about it, one side, the more I want to see one side. But you know what Mira should do, man? This has been so long since we've got a chapter. But he, and I know he's not going to do it because Mira is like Togashi. They don't care about how long it's been since you haven't read the last chapter. They're just continuing the story that they want to tell, which I respect. I most certainly respect. Like some mangaka, they do, they want to give you like a recap or they try to give you a little bit of fan service in the first chapter back after all these years. Uh, Mira Mira doesn't work that way. Mira, Mira doesn't give a flying flag because Mira has been wor working in the same schedule in the same way for, for more than a decade. Oh, hell, almost more than two, you know, like, he's been on this on and off schedule for quite some time. He hasn't written consistently in, in quite, quite some time, like I said. So, yeah, man, regardless of whether we get Griffith or we get Guts and Casca, I'll be okay. I'll be okay, man. Um, I, I can't, can't deny, like, this is the way that it goes, man. My brain is going for Griffith because, like I said, I'm, I'm biased. But my heart's going for Guts and Casca, man. A especially after that chapter. Like, even if that chapter wouldn't have come out, I still would have wanted it from the bottom of my heart because that is the that is one of the moments in Berserk that from the very moment that the eclipse took place and then we found out that that, that, that she uh, no longer was the same way that she um, that that she was back in in the in the Golden Age, um, and she lost her sense of self and. Um, just the entire journey since then, and and experiencing the series, and then through the rereads and the three and the rewatches, and all the time I've been with the series, and you just go back and you want them to both to be together again, man. You want Casca to regain her memories. You want Casca to regain who she truly is. 
And after that beautiful chapter, how could I not want it, you know? So it's like, I'm I'm stuck, man. I, and you know what? At this point, I don't care. Mira, just give us a chapter. And I know he's going to give it to us. At the end of this month, we're going to be getting a chapter. And going by the way the usual things go, if we're scheduled to get a chapter at the end, if we're scheduled to get a chapter at the end of the month, we're more than likely going to get it a little bit before that. So, a new Berserk chapter should be... Uh, incoming soon towards what a couple days a week regardless it's been a long time coming i know that when the spoilers drop for berserk if it's guts and casca everyone's getting spoiled because there isn't going to be a single soul that reads the berserk spoilers that's not going to be posting that all over the place man I, I can already see twitter filled with it man so uh yeah if you read berserk and you don't want to get spoiled man Keep an eye out for spoilers. I'm telling you right now, keep an eye out for spoilers. Because regardless of where we go, it's 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 gonna be interesting. It's gonna be interesting. Of course, like I said before, that's the that's the dilemma I'm in right now. I continue to say, you know, Griffith is my favorite character. And you know, it's it's changed. Yeah, when I first got into Berserk, Griffith was my favorite character by a long shot. I mean, he was my favorite character by light years, and then close person right next to him. Uh, there was nobody else. But you know what, man? In multiple rereads, and uh, after, I guess, growing and actually becoming an adult, uh, I guess that's the wonderful thing about reading this as a teen and then reading it uh, as an adult as well. But, you know, growing up, I really, really... I loved Griffith because I saw a lot of myself in him in terms of losing yourself and would you really sacrifice everything in order to achieve a dream and then having that one person or at least that 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 thing that really brings you back down to earth and for griffith that was guts and i always ask myself like what, what would i have done of course i wouldn't have i mean I've, hell, i i don't know myself but or um, i assume that that i wouldn't have done the the, the same thing that, well regardless 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 this, is, this isn't about that um, the, the thing with, with, that I was, I was getting to is that Guts in the past few years, I would say, I would say, probably say like the past year or two, he has closed that gap between Griffith and him to a very, very like, I would say it's like this now because Griffith is, it, I mean, there was like, it was like the size of the shelf, the, the difference. I mean, he was my favorite character by far. But after going through the series, and like I said, the memories, and just um, looking back on things, re-experiencing it, talking with other people, and then just my own life experiences, Guts has closed that gap, man. And of course, there's a lot of awesome and other characters in the series, but it's really hard for me to put um, anyone else above those two at this point in time, because they're like the heart and soul of the series. And... Um, Gus has really closed that gap, man. Which is why I'm so torn right now. Because I've seen this man's journey and what he has done. And how he has, uh, quote unquote, changed. How this journey has changed him. And how this one moment is the thing that he has been traveling for, bro. <sighs> Here I go again, man. It's, 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 it's like, bro... How can you not contemplate this, man, if you're a Berserk fan? I mean, I mean, I know a lot of people that love Guts, hate Griffith, and that's all fine and dandy. You're meant to hate Griffith. But for somebody to love both, that, that loves both characters. And then there's the Casca effect, too, man. And it's like, that's why I don't want to go back, because I've been so tempted on going back and rereading it again. But I know if I go back and reread The Golden Age, it's going to make me want to see Guts and, or Guts and Casca again uh, together. And it's going to kill me. So that's why I've stopped myself, man, <laughs> from, from from doing another full on reread. Uh, but maybe it's for the best, man. Maybe it's for the best. But yeah, man, we all, at least I, from what I've seen, we're all really excited for Berserk coming back. It's been quite a few months, and I know that whenever Mira does return, um, hopefully he stays here for quite some time. Gives us a couple chapters. I wouldn't even mind if he leaves for another nine months as long as it gives us cuts and Casca. Again, you know, if he's really going to focus these next couple chapters on Griffith, 
By God, end. And before you go on hiatus again, end the damn thing of Guts and Casca, please. Please, bro. Please, man. Because if not, man... And, and last time, it wasn't even... It wasn't that difficult because, like I said, at that time, I was I, I was a massive Griffith tard. And I was like, yes, man. All, those, those couple of years where we were just in Falconia, I was like, cool. Sweet, you know? But right now i we, I, I can't do it mira bro. <laughs> i can't do it. i need i need them both i need them both man we need to share we need to share the love we need to share the world man on that one piece opening theme man we need to share the world and we need to have both of our characters or uh, shoot both of their storylines um being showcased here whenever he comes back but it's his it's his manga you can do whatever the flying flag nards he wants this is just a plea from a fan please show us both sides <laughs> that's all that's all i asked for man but it's gonna be a lot of fun man can't wait can't wait until the chapter drops uh if you follow my twitter you know how much i love this series every single time a new chapter comes out i always dissect it page by page um like i said before i was my second manga so i had never read anything like it before and it's and i can safely say that ever since i mean i've read a lot of series uh but berserk is a pretty unique experience um and it's definitely a memorable one. But regardless, man, I will see you all next time. I hope everybody has an awesome sauce of a day and or night wherever you are. Uh, if you're excited for Berserk's return as well, let me know which one you're looking forward to the most. Of course, I'm, I'm pretty sure all of, us, all of you are going to say Guts and Casca if you've been going through this journey with me. But if you're having the same dilemma as me, uh, if, you're all, if you're also a Griffith Tard where, all, where you want to see both sides, then please share it with me, man. I don't want to be alone in this thing. You feel me? I don't want to be alone in this thing, man. But... I will see y'all next time, and I hope everybody has an awesome sauce of a day and or night. I'm recording this mad early in the morning. I just got off work, man, but I was like, dang it. I, I, Berserk's coming back soon, bro. Berserk is coming back soon. I need to make a video, man. So, I hope everybody has an awesome one. Take care.